Hi guys, LP Mainville here with your jump volleyball training tip of the week. This week, we're not in the gym, but we are still in the gym because I'm going to give you a little tip about training and about words. Why words? Well, because I believe that the words that we use, um, no matter how small they are, can have a big impact on uh, your players. And the words that the players use themselves can also have a big impact on them just in the way that it makes them think about the game or about practice. And the word that I want to um, talk about today is, I'm sorry. We're really big on this in Canada because we're, we're, we're so nice, okay? We're such nice people. We're always there saying, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you know? So while it's okay to say sorry if you did something wrong or if you hurt someone, you know, for example, if you're at a grocery store and you turn in the aisle with your, with your cart and you hit someone, it's okay to say, I'm sorry, because you might have hurt that person and you did something wrong to them, okay? But in the volleyball um, practice, on the volleyball court, in my opinion, there are a very few situations that deserve a I'm sorry. And the thing that I see a lot is players that in a drill, for example, a defensive drill, will hit a ball beside the player and say, oh, I'm sorry, let me do it again. And I have a problem with that. The reason why is that by hitting a ball beside the player, yes, maybe I'm slowing down the drill, but I am not doing something wrong to that player, and I am not doing something that is detrimental to that player. I'm actually helping that player because, you know what, in the game, the opponent, your opponent, won't always hit the ball straight at you or right in your zone. So you have to be ready to play those balls that are not hit directly at you. So for me, when a player hits a ball beside a player or misses their hit when trying to get um, their, um, their teammate to work in defense, what they do by saying, I'm sorry, is they put in the head of the defender that it is not their mistake, that it's the hitter's mistake, and that the ball should be coming at them. So we're not really putting in our mind of our athletes the, um, to, to really go for every ball and to try the ball whatever the situation is. And I think that in the long run, that can affect the quality of the defense in this case. But this happens in other situations, whether it is in passing drills, in serving drills, in setting drills doesn't matter. It happens in all sorts of areas in practice. So I think that it's really important to look at those words and look at that I'm sorry or sometimes it's my bad and try to take those words out of your practice so that your players don't find excuses. All right. So that was my tip for today. Try to notice if your players say that. Try to notice if you say that when you run drills and try to take that out of your vocabulary and out of the vocabulary of your players. I think your team will be better off. So that was it. That was the tip of the, of the week for this week. I'll catch you next week, guys, for another Jump Volleyball tip. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Jump Volleyball, and follow us on Facebook, at Jump V Ball on Facebook. All right, see you later, guys. Thanks for watching.